Hello America, how are you doing today? Um, we have a special guest with us for this interview. His name is Sir James Chadwick. Hello, how are you doing today? Pleased to meet you, man. Hey, here's my pet, Von Christoph. Nice to meet you, Von Christoph. Yeah. He likes to make funny noises, will you please have a seat? So, my name is Latifa, and I've heard a lot, a big deal about you. Tell us a little about yourself. I was born in October 20th, 1891, in Cheshire, England. Tell us a little about your childhood and how you grew up. I was the only child of my mother and father, and I was raised mostly by my grandmother because my father moved to Manchester for the laundry business. Well, that's a very interesting story. Do you have any hobbies? Like, oh, like, I've heard a lot about you. I think I've heard something about this, like, um, gardening and fishing. Sounds very exciting. Whoa, how'd you know that? Well, sir, uh, I've heard so much about you. Do you find me attractive? No. I've what? got a lovely wife and two dollars. Oh, man, that's so depressing. Anywho, what kind of educational background do you have? Well, I graduated in Manchester High School, and then for college, I went to Victorian University of Manchester. So, did you always want to be a physicist? Well, it's funny you should ask. I applied for mathematics, but then I was mistakenly placed in a physics class. I was so taken by it that I stick with it. What did you want to do, sir, after you graduated? After college, I worked in the physics laboratory of Manchester, under my mentor, Ernest Rutherford who later became known as the head of nuclear f And I believe this led to your time of being in Germany, right? Yes, I did. I was recommended by Rutherford to the leading German scientist, Hans Greiger, who then I was later introduced to the leading German physicist, Albert Einstein. Well, I believe World War I broke out right in the middle of why you were staying in Germany. How did you cope with that? Stay tuned after this commercial to find out. Chicken! Yeah! <laughs> in my yeah. stomach, party, party, party! Yeah! Hello and welcome back to this broadcast. I'm here with Sir James Chadwick and now we're going to find out what happened during the war. I was in a POW camp with many British citizens and it was four years until I was able to return to England. What did you do when you got back to England? I was reunited with my former mentor Ernest Rutherford at Cambridge University. There was when I made my famous discovery. And that discovery was the neutron. Precisely. Rutherford had discovered that atoms had positive protons and negative electrons. But there was one problem. The weight of the added protons and electrons did not line up. Well, this must have been a huge discovery in physics. Am I being correct here, sir? Exactly. Any atom can be split apart if shot by, by a neutron. This led to nuclear fission as well as nuclear weapons and the development of power plants. Oh, and this led you to win the Nobel Peace Prize in 1935. Oh, I'm sorry, my chicken is very hungry. Let me feed her. Long quister, eat! Yes, it was an honor to be awarded the prize. Sir, did you ever meet Albert Einstein again? Yes, I did. I worked with Albert Einstein in the Manhattan Project back in World War II. I have this fascinating quote by Sir James Chadwick. It says, there was, I think, a feeling that the best science was, do was that done in the simplest way in experimental work as in mathematics. There was style, and the result obtained with simple equipment was more elegant than one obtained with complicated apparatus, just as mathematical proof derived neatly was better than one involving laborious calculations. Rutherford's first disintegration experiment and Chadwick's discovery of the neutron had a style that is different from that of any experiments made with giant accelerators. Your response? I agree with this statement. With a simpl simpler, less sophisticated experiment, there is a less percent chance of error to occur. And this America concludes our show. This interview with Sir James Chadwick was terrific. Tune in next week as we dig deeper to find out about the new discovery of the element snake. Is the eye circle. You should buy one. Call this toll free number at the bottom of the screen. 1 800 222 222 222 222 222 222.